Yeah, especially with the potential of uh, yeah, this, a Sun Strike as well coming. Yeah, this lane is nasty for DJ. It's very difficult for the Disruptor. Oh my god, he might just die here. Yeah, he's in hey, trouble. He's dead, the cloud's down already. Mosin having to chip away. MTR mm. trying to close the gap. Yeah. Searches for the Ricky. And Stacks is sticking yeah. Napalm on him. But you have Oracle. Oh, yeah, yeah, Oracle's going to remove the Stacks. Yeah. So. Safe lane as well for Arbet. Going all right, but now mid lane. Oh, Puma trying to move it again. JYC with the return TP. Look at the Gabby phase shifts. And we'll be able to back off with a fairy fire. Kimo's still going in onto Jacko, and Jacko oh, incredibly low. In. Kimo's going to try and die for this. Fairy fire's popped the fire blast as well. Kimo finding the kill onto Jacko will pay with his life. But that's a support ogre running in. But ogre, you know, just ogre things. Eight armor at level one. Being able to tank the tower and run into get that good exchange for his team. I guess on the plus side for this invoker, because it is... I try to go for another kill here. Is there Sunstrike available? I see, just to put this iron shell on. God, DJ falling dead. solo. The Sunstrike's on he's point from Jacko. I thought you are just getting abused. This is like a nightmare lane. Like, BYB's fun. got three stacks on the axe. He knows that there's no Oracle nearby. Oracle oh. is getting closer and closer there with the Sunstrike. Though. Oh. BYB's down. He does manage to bring the axe with him. Yeah, yeah, he died first. So axe got the experience, so that was... Still pretty good for Mid lane, The dream call drop down and again Kimo's in on top of Jacko. Is there gonna be any kind of backup coming out in time? JYC to the tier two tower trying to come forward. He, he can't save Jacko. He's gonna look towards Gabby to see if he can find a kill in return, but he hasn't quite got the top That's lane. Right. Arbed getting caught in with the sun strike, but still jumping away. Oh, Turns going around. In fact, he's just gonna man fight Mosin and Mosin diving the tower might go down here and he does an up. A much slower mid hero, but you can always contribute with sun tracks and top lane we see MTR. Yeah, Kimo trying to block it off, they've got the vision and now cancelling the TP with a fire blast. They'll chase down MTR, jumping forward and again. You're more, yeah, more sustainable yeah, to against. You can save yourself. Yeah, you can save yeah. yourself. Yeah. Mid lane, Mosin has been caught out by Kimo, but at the same time Kimo could be drawn. Mosin actually kept alive, finally goes down. They do find the kill in return, power gaming. And for DJ. more, they've got vision onto Kima, but not really the hero you want to be jumping on as DDZ backs up. The vision's going to be there though as the fields pop. DDZ already popping the call, cool, can't blink himself out of this one. At the same time, Mosin focusing onto DJ, hasn't quite got the damage. Kimo turns around with the fire blast. Gabby jumps across, they'll burst him down with the veil, helping there with the extra damage coming out from Puck. DDZ being focused again, the coils there, Static Storm in return. Can they bring Gabby down? Gabby also away, keeps himself safe. Power Gaming lose a second, they're going to lose a third. JYC tried to come over to save his teammates. He's got a false promise, but the Firefly damage is going to be building up, and he's almost certainly going to pop at the end of this one as Execration taking down. Again, okay, we want to do something about it. It's jumping immediately onto Gabby with the call. The smoke, Gabby falling low, taken down. Look at the trap onto Kimo, trying to close the gap here. I don't want to dive onto an ogre though. I'm being JYC in trouble though as they focus down the Oracle. Ricky does, of course, fall after he comes out of the ult. JYC taken down as well. Execration reacting very nice. EJ getting the glitz back onto MTI is going to try for the TP out, but the nukes there in time. Arbet able to find himself another high gaming. They want Execration oh, they to jump on Jack. They might get him. They have the glimpse. See how they play this one. There's going to be backup. There's the glimpse, but DDZ jumps in immediately, gets the call onto DJ. So there's going to be no static storm for this fight. The vacuum, the wall to two. Kimo getting a meatball to the face. A second kill for Power Gaming. Ooh. And that bait was played absolutely perfectly. Using Jacko there, wanting him to get glimpse back. And immediately, DDZ with the call. Can't quite get Gabby out though. But that play, catching out DJ before any of the spells go on, is still, this fight still continuing though. Execration playing around with them. Dreamcore has been dropped, they don't find a kill in return, but all in all just really smart off the tier one. Actually looking to head into Roshan with okay, Abed Gabby, it's not, not going to be the quickest of Roshan attempts, is it? Yeah, this is what I was talking about in the previous game where if you're dire and the Radiant pushes you on tier one on your safe lane, you go for Rosh as a trade-off usually. But they don't really have heroes that kill it's, Roshan fast. It's not going to be that quick. I mean, obviously oh, Arbet's got a fair bit of punch with his Aji, but... This might be a bad idea for Execration. Oh, DDZ gets a call off again. They're coming across with the smoke, but surely Execration, no. You can see scan. already, just backing away. They know that with power do they have a off scan? the map... Do they have a scan? Yeah, I guess they have a scan. Oh, no, they don't have a scan. Okay. They can't really use the scan with, like... Some teams will just save the scan for the smoke gang, so it's easier for you to make a play. I guess at the same time, it is a little risky if Execration do get it low and then lose a fight because Power Gaming, they have the Invoker with his Forge Spirits, they can finish it off if they get in there. Yeah, that's true. So they have to stay around the vicinity. Maybe use the Morphing with Replicate to push out the lanes and then try to force Power Gaming to defend their lanes and then go back to Roshan. There's the replica out. We'll see what they do with it. Maybe just trying to gather some vision as they'll send it up to the high ground. I'll see if they can find more, but on the sidelines, Jacko caught out. 
Walk back, Static Storms out, trapping the Invoker now. Arbet jumps across, looking to finish up with a false promise. They're just in time for JYC. It's going to be enough to actually save Jacko, and it, it does a, he's still alive. Only just, he keeps it, and he turns it around. Takes down two here, they find a third. Jacko finally goes down there to the orb. Gabby able to finish him off, but Power Gaming looking to find more from this one. Heading forward, Gabby hiding in the tree line. Will be able to proceed now top of the board, level with the Morphling. Oh, he might actually get ganked here. See if they can get a catch off. Smoke up from Execration. BYP looking to close the gap with the Blink Lasso. Oh, the Rimosa is going to come in and actually dispel most of the smoke. They jump in. The two man call. The silence as well. The vacuum coming down. There's the first of the second. Looks a little early, but it doesn't matter. DJ still to fall. They're chasing down BYB. BYB pops the drums, trying to keep him safe on the tree line. There's no backup coming in for the side of Execration. BYB trying to get himself out. Gets the Blink off just in time. Will be able to survive. But again, execute. to do what we said just now. Get a jump with uh, the bat or the puck. And one, if the puck initiates first, the bat has to go behind to get the Oracle. And of course, with these forces as well, it's great aggressively. You know, you four star stun one in the Dream Coil. Instant stun. Oh. Dump him, pot him. But again, the vacuum in response. Chemo caught out by the Static Storm. It's actually going to catch three of them here. The rest of Execration moving into the fight, trying to catch them out of the side. They've managed to get JYC out, and that could be the start to a good one. But DDC, he's got something to say about with the dunk. Trying for the TP out. Get no! He will manage to escape. But the rest of his team aren't as lucky as Execration finding their way. They're going to be prepared for this. Just a big question about who gets the jump on who. Moses still out. DTC tries to go, but oh, the puck jumps across to the back. Let's get the silence onto JLC. But now, with the false promise, he's going to be all right for the time being. Walsby dropped down in the middle of it. They're moving in onto Jacko. Jacko being saved, kept alive here by JYC's play, but it's not enough. Jacko still to fall. The Oracle's going to go down as well as Execration moving in for more. MTR surging away. DTC trying to get back into this one, looking for BYB, but he's being kind enough. The Napalm slowing him down. DTC tries to turn and fight but the nukes from Gabby is all too much triple oh kill gosh. on the puck this puck is just it's in the phase shift dodging that call in a milliseconds jumping in Jeez. immediately targeting the like they've really much gone better. into the groove yep much better so there's a gem on BYB so that's uh, really good for his team you you want a gem to scout the Ricky all the time you don't want to, you don't want the Ricky to see you first so gem is really really important so vision game will be on execration side and they have double blinks so BYB. He's got the vision, he's going to jump onto Jacko, bring the Invoker back, Gabby jumping, bursting down, Mosin on the Ricky, immediately eliminating the backline threat. You can see Power Gaming trying to chase down and catch something in return, but they can't quite find it, and BYB and Gabby... The Meteor into Deathling Blast, they need to pull off one combination successfully. Let's see if they can set up anything up top. Yep, they're not... Uh... Oh, execration, Look, looking for the jump in, Axe, DDZ, Dimension Fire, the call, onto the puck, and the sun strikes oh, perfect. Geez. Perfect start, and now with the vacuum, Wall, DJ forced away, they're going to chase down Disruptor, find a second. This is the fight the Power Gaming were looking for. Abad replicates himself out of there, but Chemo, BYB, they could be in trouble, the Tornado not going to catch on to Chemo, swags it to the side, looks for the TP out, isn't going to be able to make it, the cancel is there, and Power Gaming, Finding a third kill, and again, it's DDZ with his blink calls, starting it all off. Oh, that was a bit, like I mentioned, whoever gets the initiation will just win the fights. And look at this as well, Power Gaming immediately, after getting a good team fight, looking for the objective, they'll head into the pit, we'll see it's if they get not, away with this. It's not that fast though, for them. It's gonna take a while, I'm I not think, sure about this. I think they might realize that as well, as, as they kind of yeah. filter around the outskirts. Oh, their heroes are pretty weak at killing Roshan, I'm not sure. They have spotted, of course, BYB's over on the other side of the map. So now that they know the bat's over there, oh, he has no, and TP. He has no TP, no slot for it as well. So with that information, Power Gaming straight back into the pit. Gabby and TJ are going to be there. No Static Storm available. Hey, there is a Dream Coil from Gabby if he wants to try and make a play. They have to be very careful as well. Like Puck can just kill one of the supports. I mean, DDZ gets the jump on Puck. <gasps> oh, it's a hard one. DDZ isn't going to jump in as of yet. He's got to be careful now, in fact, coming down, DJ has got a oh. glimpse available, Coil's going to be dropped, DDZ is going to be dragged back, can they save the Axe? They might have to just sack him, the E-Blade's out, DDZ falling low, Static Storm onto JYC to try and eliminate the save potential, now the Chaos Meteor, the Jacko, he's taken down DJ, but the Lasso is going to get cancelled immediately by the False Promise for JYC, looking towards Ahmed, Ahmed sliding across, getting the burst down, down onto Jacko, he may pop and he will at the end, it is a full team wipe, Execration! Catching them out, punishing them hard. Oh my god, do you, you see that combo? We see this game, 7-0-8.
on his Morphling. BKB's been picked up from BYB as well, so Lilly's able to find the jumps. Jacko's going to be going on again. The new damage from Gabby. They will lose DJ. Not worth But though. Gabby, yeah, just bursting heroes down at this. And he's just going to use this to commit to the tower. Push looking for the tier two. They, they don't really want to jump on Arbad. In fact, Arbad dodging out the initial call. There's the vacuum. Arbad forced away. He's going to keep his life intact for the time being. DDZ looks to chase forward. Pops the BKB. There's the dunk. They'll take Arbad down once, but he's going to be back for round two. BYB moving in onto JYC. Caught out in the static storm again. Mosen going to be the first of all. Two down on Power Gaming. They will get the search strike onto Gabby. Taking one. Taking two as DDZ gets the dunk off Arbad. Chasing down with the ball flank. But he a bed. Caught out by the meteor. Held back. DDZ looking for the cords, Kimo, Kimo looking for the fire blast, can he get it quite off, he can't, DDZ able to run away, Jacko fighting back hard, they've found three, chasing down DJ as well, Jacko doing his best to clean up this fight for his team, DJ can't save himself out of this one, he's going to look for the Dukes, but MTR there as well, DJ to fall, triple kill for Jacko, Arbet the only survivor, and power gaming with the exact kind of defense that they need to do. Whoever gets the jump will just win the fights. The correct jump. Oracle is behind, so he might actually get jump first. Yeah, DJ can catch this out with an immediate static storm to start this off. We'll see if Execration can find the right angle. Oh, Dark is coming in though. They have a ward there. They're going to see him. So power giving themselves might choose to jump in. BYB is going to be hiding on the other side of the tree line. Looking for the jump, but immediately MTR is looking towards the puck, holding back on the sidelines. The scythe is there on Gabby. The tornado as well. DDZ falling over. The BKB out. Gets the call onto Abe, dragging him across, getting the spins off at the time being. Finally a first death. JYC, he's going to be the first to fall. DDZ again trying to finish off Abe, but they can't quite get through the health of this morphling. Jacko forced back on the sidelines. They've lost Darkseer. Uh, sorry, the Invoker as well. Darkseer is still alive in the midst of it. The only survivor by the looks of it, as he has to get himself away, but Execration coming into the jungle of Power Gaming, catching them off guard. Power Gaming knew that they were there underneath the ward, but they didn't expect... The better either than that fight. Giving his team the vision and getting the last one on the Invoker. Oh, let's see, Execration find a tier two, see if they can get anything else done during this time. 15 seconds before Jacko and DDZ are back in the fray. Our bed. Absolutely destroying this tier three tower and power gaming, not wanting to do anything without their full team. Now, with Invoker and Axe back alive, they'll see if they can make a jump. Jumping, looking for Arbed, but he's forced back. Turns around with a nuke and Moses gone. There's the vacuum call that they need though. DDZ focusing down. DDZ, DJ pops the beam, but he's got go set. He's going to be fine. And now power gaming in trouble. They've lost two yet again. Arbed right clicking MTR down. The Darks hit to fall. Arbed adapted strikes forward, looking for more kills, looking for more blood. DDZ, he's going to be the fourth casualty. And again, execration. Take down four, they'll take the racks in the mid lane. There's no buybacks available on the side of Power Gaming. And Execration this, this, could be on the verge of doing it here. This is really, really bad for Power. I mean, they're not going to be able to hold any of their racks here. They don't have buybacks, so it seems like they might have one more fight, but... They've still got a tier two on the top lane. That's pretty much their saving yeah. grace at the moment, so they, Execration can't mega creep I mean, the side. still losing like two lanes of racks against Morphing. Good luck defending against that. And BYB actually cheekily heading over to the fountain and grabbing his refresher orb on the Batrider. So he... He definitely, the he definitely fight. redeemed himself after yeah. the first game today. Didn't have a good game, but this game he is much, much better on the Batrider compared to the Mirana game. One more fight in the tank for Power Gaming. Uh, it's going to oh. be in 20 seconds though, still waiting for DDZ to be back up. And that... And with the tier 2 down and the tier 3 and the racks open on the top, it is going to be against Mega Creeps. Almost certainly Mosin trying to lead in. BYB gets the lasso off onto JYC. No save available. Oracle eliminated immediately. Now trying to move in for more. Jacko gets the BKB off in time, but BYB again with the counter. Lasso's him, drags him back into the midst of them all. DDZ gets the call GG. off on top and Kimo, but GG is called. An execration will move on to the upper bracket. We will see more power gaming, but they're going to have to fight it out.